The Long Valley supervolcano rattled by a four magnitude earthquake from nearby Mena, Nevada. The caldera is inflating. We have various little quake, quake swarms, but the four magnitude shook the whole area, as we'll see later in the map. But what is going on with Long Valley Caldera? Long Valley is a supervolcano, one of the 20 some odd in the world. It last had a major eruption 760,000 years ago. And uh, these quakes in Mina have been ongoing for over a year, I would say. They're too close for comfort. A USGS has put Long Valley Caldera on the very high threat volcano list for California. And this is what happened 760,000 years ago. The Long Valley Caldera area, Bishop Ash eruption. Now we'll see from the geodesy that it's inflating. Also the USGS informing us the future eruptions of Long Valley area and what's likely to come. This is the greater area of Long Valley Caldera. On the top is Mono Lake. You have the Inyo craters, and this is the map that we have to keep in mind. And this is one of the USGS images showing us inflation of the Long Valley Caldera area. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Now before we take a look at the shake map and geodesy, seeing inflation and where it's going to, because the uh, GPS shows us where these things are moving, the land is moving to, Long Valley Caldera and the Mono Inyo craters, which are, Mono Inyo starts just north of Ridge, Ridge Crest. The chain from, form a long, volca large volcanic complex in Eastern California. It's had persistent earthquake activity and ground uplift in recent decades. Volcanoes have been active in the area for millions of years. It's a subduction zone, as we know. And uh, all the high threat volcanoes of California are on that subduction area. Now, the, it's, they're all located on the Walker Lane Fault System, which takes up 25% of the subduction energy, and the San Andreas Fault takes up about 75% of the subduction energy of California's subduction zone from the Pacific Plate subducting under the North American Plate. Now, when the next eruption in the area does occur, it will most likely be small and from a site in the Mono Inyo chain. The three Inyo craters, part of the Mono Inyo crater volcanic chain stretching northward across the floor of Long Valley Caldera, a large volcanic depression in Eastern California. During the past 1,000 years, there have been at least 12 volcanic eruptions in the chain. Did we know that? That in the past, well, that's, that's is from 1000 AD, there have been 12 volcanic eruptions on this area, including those that formed the Inyo craters in South Dedman Creek Cone, Dome? I didn't know that. And I'll leave a link below for you. This is on uh, USGS. Now, after four strong magnitude six earthquakes rocked along the valley in uh, May of 1980, the U.S. Geological Survey scientists also detected evidence of renewed volcanic unrest in the area. They discovered that the central part of Long Valley Caldera, a broad depression formed in a cataclysmic volcanic eruption that took place. It was a super eruption, of course. It took place 760,000 years ago, was slowly rising because such ground deformation and earthquakes are common precursors to volcanic eruptions. USGS has continued to closely monitor the unrest in the region. And we know we have a geothermal plant here in um, Long Valley Caldera. It basically, it looks a lot like Yellowstone. It does have steaming areas and it has geysers as well. Now, it's, a natural, it's natural to wonder when and where the next volcanic eruption might occur in the Long Valley area. Geologic processes generally proceed at a slow pace, and when viewed on the scale of a human lifetime, volcanic eruptions and destructive earthquakes happen rarely. Nevertheless, the long history of volcanic activity in Long Valley area indicate 
that future eruptions will occur, geologists studying the Long Valley supervolcano found that following its creation in the violent eruption of 760,000 uh, uh, years ago, clusters of smaller volcanic eruptions occurred in the caldera at roughly 200,000 year intervals. About 100,000 years ago, the most recent of these eruptions formed the Mammoth Knolls, the low hills just north of the town of Mammoth Lakes. Mammoth Mountain is a young volcano at the rim of Long Valley Caldera, built by numerous eruptions between 220,000 and 50,000 years ago. So you can imagine that that time must have been very uh, eruptive for that area. Volcanoes in the Mono Inyo crater chains which extends from just south of Mammoth Mountain to the north shore of Mono Lake. And we'll see that later on the map, how much it was shaking that whole area from the Mina earthquake. It was built by numerous eruptions. Uh, north, uh, on the north shore of Mono Lake, we have erupted uh, often over the past 40,000 years. During the last 5,000 years, an eruption has broken out somewhere along this chain every 250 to 700 years. So does that mean that we are in for something? Because that's the timing of 250, 700 years. The Inyo craters in nearby lava domes were formed by a series of small to moderate eruptions 550 just to 600 years ago. The most recent eruptions along the volcanic chain took place about just 250 years ago at Paoha Island in Mono Lake. The pattern of volcanic activity over the past 5,000 years suggests the next eruption in Long Valley area will most likely happen somewhere along the Mono Inyo volcanic chain, but probably of such an eruption occurring, the probability of such an eruption occurring in any given year is less than 1%. This is comparable to the annual chance of a magnitude 8 earthquake, like the great 1906 San Francisco earthquake along the San Andreas Fault in coastal California, or of an eruption of one of the more active cascade range volcanoes in the Pacific, such as Mount Rainier. As long as increased volcanic unrest, including earthquake swarms, ground deformation, CO2 gas emissions continue in the Long Valley area, the chances of an eruption occurring in the near future will remain somewhat increased. However, evidence from large volcanic areas and calderas worldwide show that unrest, such as the current activity in Eastern California, can persist for decades or even centuries without leading to an eruption. Nevertheless, recent eruptions at Rabaul Caldera in Papua New Guinea in 1994 and the Izu Volcanic Complex in Japan in 1989, following short periods of unrest, emphasize the need to closely monitor restless calderas. When an eruption does break out in the Long Valley area, its impact will depend on the location size and type of eruption, as well as the wind direction. Also, an eruption during the winter months could melt heavy snowpacks, generating mud flow and locally destructive flooding. Most likely, an eruption, if when an eruption does break out in the Long Valley area, its impact will depend on the location, as we said. Now, most likely, the next eruption will be small and similar to previous eruptions along the Mono Inyo volcanic chain, during the past 5,000 years, such eruptions typically begin with a series of steam blast explosions as rising molten rock and magma encounters and vaporizes underground water near the Earth's surface. These blasts can throw large blocks of rock and smaller fragments hundreds of feet into the air, leaving deep circular pits like the Inyo craters. If magma reaches the surface, gases trapped within it can escape explosively hurling volcanic ash, like tiny fragments of the solidified magma, as high as six miles or more. Airborne volcanic ash can be carried hundreds of miles downwind, and the amount and size of falling ash decrease with distance from the eruption site. Thin accumulations of ash pose little threat to life or property, especially in areas where the roofs of most buildings are constructed to withstand heavy snow loads. But when a light dusting of fine volcanic ash can close roads and seriously disrupt communications and utilities for weeks or months after eruption. The eruption that led to the creation of the 600-year-old South Deadman Creek Dome, 
covered the area of what's now the town of Mammoth Lakes with a layer of volcanic ash one inch thick. And during these eruptions, the wind first blew towards the northeast and later towards the southwest. The spreading volcanic ash, uh, the eruptions also produced fiery flows of hot ash, pyroclastic flows. And as we said, depending on the wind direction and the location of eruption, future eruptions in the Long Valley area could spread volcanic ash over the communities of Mammoth Lake, June Lake, or Lee Vining, and pyroclastic flows indicating uh, uh, orange and yellow in the areas. Cosmo Berkeley, and we're showing the area of Long Valley Caldera and the various earthquakes that took place the past few days. The blue is uh, the past day and the yellow is the past week. This is the area of Mina, Nevada. Even though it's in another state, it's right next to, it's basically a part of the activity that's going along and shaking up uh, Long Valley Caldera. And obviously, this is, Nevada has it's a range of, of volcanoes there. But uh, this is the area, that's Mono Lake, the in your craters right here. Owens Valley, this is the Walker Lane Fault System in the Sierra Nevada you, ha you have here. Tom's Place earthquakes, that means uh, Tom's Place, whatever you see, Mammoth Lakes is always Long Valley Caldera. And this is it right here. This is Ridgecrest area right there, you can see that line all the way up there. This is earthquakes along the Walker Lane Fault System. This is where uh, San Andreas range is, and this is this takes up 75% of the subduction pressure. This takes up this area here, which, which has the volcanoes of California, uh, take, is on the Walker Lane Fault System. It takes up 25% of the subduction zone energy. And... Um, just some activities, Tom's Place, and this is our area of Mono Lake. And let's go back to the aerial to see much better. Okay, how it shook. The whole area has shaken. Of course, that's it right there, and you can see all this activity shaking. Long Valley Caldera. And uh, USGS stops that square right there, but you can see that all of California has shaken from this. And... Um, this is Salt Lake City here. This is the area of Yellowstone. Okay, I would venture to say that it could have. There's Salt Lake City. Okay, and uh, you have the the mantle plume that comes from Baja California. Uh, splits into a Y. The western part goes has two branches. One goes under San Andreas. Fault, the other goes under the Walker Lane Fault System, feeding the high uh, threat volcanoes. And the other part goes this way, as you can see here, goes into the area of Utah and uh, into goes north up into Yellowstone. And let's go in there, you can see Yellowstone much better this way. Okay, that's, just, that's the Yellowstone Lake right there. There we go. Yellowstone Lake right there. And then it turns west into Idaho. And uh, this, you can see that beautiful lava formation right there. Isn't that beautiful? It's so pristine and clean, you think it was just, uh, it just flowed yesterday. There you go. That's lava. Okay. This, these things here mean that's population. So you don't have much of population in Mina, Nevada. That's why you didn't have that many people reporting, feeling the shaking. Now, going back to the... Um, uh, sorry. This is the... Uh, I'll leave a link below for you for the article we just had from USGS. And let's go to the geodesy. Uh, that's the map of Long Valley, as we said before, the Mono Lake and the resurgent domes. The, the Mammoth Lakes area, the Mono Inyo craters, and this whole thing is the Long Valley Caldera. Now let's go to our um, geodesy, and I'll leave a link below for you for this. Uh, you can see this is the this is a Mono crater. Uh, there's these are all the GPS systems in the area, and you can find all the GPS systems in the world. And I'll leave you the links so you can see. 
what the GPS is doing, showing that the area, uh, your area is undergoing. Now, this is it right here. This is about the area of Mena, Nevada. Um, let's go here. Let's go here. Does it have anything? Okay. Now, this shows us movement towards the east. If it were this way, that means it would be moving east. It's not going that way, so it's moving west. This shows if it's north to south. It's not going north. It's going south. It's going southwest. And we see that in 2004 was inflating. Now it's pretty steady, even though it looks seasonal. Okay. Now let's go to the area of Mono Lake around there. Let's see what's happening there. Okay, again, it's going uh, southwest and not much of an inflation. Again, it looks seasonal. And, but you can see it's moving southwest. Let's go here. Okay, look at that difference in 15 years, 16 years. It's going southwest and not much, a little bit of an incline, as you can see there, of an increase, inflation. Uh, Bishop, let's go to Bishop. Let's go here. P311, uh, oh, look at this. Okay, it's going southwest, and it's got a little bit of an incline, even though an increase in uh, inflation, even though we see that it's seasonal, as you can see here. So I'll leave a link below for you for the view. That's so you can see what's happening there. Uh, should we go to, um, let's go to, uh, uh, okay. Okay, let's go to Los Angeles. Let's take this one. Los Angeles, okay, that is very nice lines. It's going, this one is going north. This one is going west, but this one is going north. And a little bit of an inflation the past few years. But this one is not going west, this is going north. So this is going this way. This way. Whereas the other ones were going south. Isn't that something? Let's go here. What's going on here? Oh my, okay. Oh, that's, that's, this is on P641. It's going west. Uh, at first was going uh, south, and then it seems to be sort of going towards north, and it's really inflating, as you can see. So you can uh, play around with this to see what's happening here. Obviously, we have a lot of activity on the West Coast. Okay, so all of you there, please be very careful. Uh, as you can see, these are the, uh, this is Mina, and this is Long Valley, and this is Ridgecrest. So please be very careful, all of you there, as you can see, uh, because um, it's one of the super volcanoes of the world. Uh, we may be ready for earthquakes, but what about things that happen concerning volcanic eruptions? Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.